Hi guys, to play here. I just want to go through today for uh, this new tutorial uh, a couple things. I want to introduce you to uh, two applications. One is the OSF mount and the other one is the X2 FSD. Uh, we're going to need uh, both of these installed on your PCs. It will make your life a lot easier to transfer ROMs from your local PC or storage to your SD card directly on your PC or use the OSF mount and how to use it for uh, mounting your IMG files directly on your PC without uh, an external adapter or anything else and uh, with this way you can have read access like Linux Reader which most of them uh, other builders uh, or other people using and suggesting but I never heard anyone suggesting the OSF mount which has the capability to actually write to your IMG file. So uh, I will explain about prerequisites and other things you might need after we install because the installation is just straightforward we just need to get it and install it. So let's get started soon and uh, I think you're gonna be happy. Okay, so let's start the web browser and we're gonna go and start searching for OSF mount. Open a new tab and go and type X2FSD. Let's click on OSF mount. You get the window, uh, the page. And in case you get some warning, red warning, just like you ignore and continue, it happened to me uh, one time, it's very safe. So this is fine. And now let's go back to X2 FSD and click downloads. Click on the sourceforge.net uh, link. It will take you to the files. Click on X2 FSD and go and select the 068 version. It's uh, the most stable in my experience uh, on Windows 10. I never had problems, so I highly recommend that. And um, you go and select the X2 FSD 068 executable, the last one at the bottom. Let it download. So SF mount is already done. So when, let's install OSF mount. Double click. Next, I accept. Next, just continue with the default. Next, uh, you don't have to uh, run it. We'll do it that later. Then do the same for X2 FSD. Click Run on that blue screen, install, and go next. We're going to do just the default. So next, 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 and uh, continue. So this is done. Okay, so now we close the application, close the window and get ready to restart. Okay guys, we're back. So um, uh, you can see the new desktop icon OSF mount. X2 FSD is already installed. The drivers are okay, nothing else to do. And uh, I'm going to start with an example how you're going to mount and know what, how to use OSF mount to use an IMZ file. I'm going to mount Dari Zone 64 Gigabit Infinity card IMZ file. Uh, it's just a plain IMZ file I have on the network. I'm going to grab some ROMs from the arcade folder and put it um, on the desktop. And we're going to use this as an example to drop this once I mount my SD card. Uh, light playbox uh, version and we drop some uh, of these ROMs in uh, in this ROM folders existing on the SD card. So uh, the same way that you're going to see how we mount, you have two options, one read only and the other one uh, the write. 
So read is similar to the Linux reader uh, option that you have, but OSF mount, as I said, you can actually write to a fully expanded uh, IMG. So if you have uh, a burned image and you burn it and it's expanded, then you can back it up on your computer instead of uh, worrying about that. Let's say you have a backup, so you can mount that with OSF mount and drop any ROMs to that uh, because you have all the space. So let's continue. Alright guys, so uh, let's start with OSF mount. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna mount an IMG file from Dari Zone I have on the network. I already copied on the uh, ne um, clipboard the path. So um, when we start uh, uh, the window OSF mount, you have the option to mount and then on the next window we browse to the local file, IMG file, or in my case I'm just gonna copy pay, I'm gonna paste the path open the image and then we uh, have a pop-up window that uh, we select uh, which part of the image we want to do so we can just click to browse or uh, continue so I'm gonna paste click open is a direct path to the image so now we're gonna have the option if I want to mount the complete image the fat partition or the uh, first partition which is the root of the first partition the linux partition that has all the configuration and the roms so in our case we want about uh, we care about the linux partition the fact we can do it anytime regularly on the windows so we select that and then as you see on the previous window it there's a bottom uh, tick box at the bottom that says read only uh, drive so if you untick that uh, you have write access to that partition. This is something that Linux reader cannot do and uh, that's why I like this program very very much. So as I said if you have a fully expanded image, uh, for example you back up your fully expanded uh, image from your uh, SD card, that's a fully expanded image and then uh, you have the ROM directory over there so you can mount it, you untick this box and then you can drop directly to that partition your ROMs uh, like a normal drive like if it was uh, uh, mounted already uh, permanently on your computer so uh, it's similar to that it doesn't matter so as you can see now this uh, is already mounted it has a drive letter so you just double click on that and Windows Explorer will open up and this is the root of this partition so if you click let's say home Pi, RetroPy, and ROMs, you are already in the directory of all the ROMs on that image. So we're going to grab some from the arcade just to use for uh, our next example. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to wait for all these uh, uh, ROMs to copy. It's for something, as you see, 4 or 5 gigs. Uh, I'm just going to kill it. And uh, we're going to continue with whatever is left. So that's how you access all this and uh, always you have to, um, uh, this is what we copied, so basically now we're going to dismount. What you see was a nice clean dismount. Uh, when you dismount like that, it should no, there should be no pop-up. If you get a pop-up that you cannot lock uh, the file, that means like you know that you have some window explorer open. So the best way to do that is always close all your windows explorer and try again. Do not force. Uh, you don't want to uh, corrupt your ING file or you, you don't want to cause any problems. Just always have it like that. No pop-up, no warnings. Just dismount nice and clean and then you can click exit and you're set. Now in case you run into a problem, you have the warning and uh, there's no window explorer open. What are you going to do? You're going to go and start your task manager, find your windows explorer and restart it or just end it. Try to dismount your image and then uh, start your explorer again so uh, that's it that's the safest way to do it and always have uh, your images safe all right so let's get move on uh, move on to the um, actual uh, copy of the uh, files to your actual SD card so uh, I'm popping in my micro SD card to the USB card reader or uh, uh, 
in your case if you have an actual adapter to a um, card reader on your PC I'm using an external USB uh, transcend uh, um, chip one I got from Amazon uh, plug in my uh, micro SD card and I'm gonna mount it in the computer so I'm double click and there you are it's both there the first one you can see on the top is the boot uh, partition that has the CMD and uh, uh, line config and the config txt and the other one uh, the one I open now is the root fs and I'm just giving you an example how you can find for example etc emulation station and that's where your uh, um, teams are located and now we'll go back to the roms as we said home pi retro pi roms and uh, we go to arcades and we're gonna grab uh, the um, a uh, few files that I have on the desktop just for the example and you just actually select them and uh, you see I grab the zip files and I do a cut paste or copy paste or whatever you like so we go to the arcade folder double click and then paste and boom your files are there so imagine how much time you're going to save by doing this locally instead of over your Wi-Fi, your slow Wi-Fi. Um, it might be a little bit lighter if you have a 3B+, Plus, but trust me, when you do local copies, it's way, way faster and saves your time. I don't want to waste your time, uh, so uh, this is the best and fastest way to do it. And uh, now the last part and very, uh, very, very important is how you dismount your SD card never um, uh, force it never unplug it you know that you just go and you have two options or you select the boot partition always the boot partition and say eject never do that on the root fs partition unless you want to freeze up your windows or you go at the bottom and you select the normal windows uh, usb eject uh, uh, icon and then you select the device and you eject it so that's it it's just ejected and um, um, I can unplug it and um, I plug in again so you can see that it says the two drives plugged in and then I go select again from down here and uh, I eject as I said the full device so if you eject the full device or if you have the option to allow you to use the USB safe remove uh, application if you select always again select the boot partition in there if it's allowed so that's it folks, enjoy fast copies and uh, you can drop me any requests or other tutorials you might want. Uh, so uh, see you soon.